Hey knitters, if you are left-handed or you're teaching someone how to knit left-handed and you feel like you're all thumbs, this is the video for you. I'm a lefty. I'm going to teach you how to knit left-handed. It's something that any lefty can do. You don't have to knit right-handed. Uh, when I started knitting, I started right-handed and I just could not get how the, I couldn't get a good grasp on the needles. I'd end up putting one on my arm or using it as a stake on my leg and I'd wrap the yarn around. It wasn't until I decided to relearn knitting as a left-handed person and knit mirror image of a right-handed person that it all made sense. I knit continental style. I'm going to show you how to knit, how to cast on, knit, purl, bind off, and knit continental style. That's a way to hold your needles so it makes sense. So stay tuned, I'm gonna flip things around and show you how it's done. Hi Lefty Knitters. Here's everything you're gonna to need to get started knitting your first project or just practicing knitting in general. You're gonna start with a skein of worsted weight yarn, a pair of size eight knitting needles. I prefer to learn and teach knitting on uh, bamboo knitting needles and these are size eights. That's a good size. And the way you can tell that is if you look on the yarn label, it will give you the recommended, this is what's called a gauge. It'll say 20 stitches to four inches and it was done on a size eight needle. So that's what we're gonna use for this project. So let's start by, oh, also you're gonna have a pair of scissors around to cut the yarn when you're done. Let's start by making a slip knot. You have to start your knitting projects with this. So you just make two loops and then you flip one over into the other and pull up like that. And your slip knot should be able to move loosely along your, should be able to pull it up and down. So you're going to take that and put it on the needle like this. Now you're going to do a thumb cast on. All this is, is you're gonna bring your thumb behind the work and flip your thumb back to kind of create a cross and then insert the needle into that loop and pull it up. In, just make that loop. It would be basically the same as taking the yarn, flipping it around and putting it on the needle like that and tightening. And you want to make it tight enough that it, it, it kind of hugs the needle, but you can easily glide it along as you can see there. So I'll just put 10 stitches on the needle. So I'm going to draw up, grab the yarn, flip it back, and with that little X, I'm going to go into the circle that it made. Now I have two four, six, eight, ten stitches. And in this case, you will, you do count the slip knot, the stitch that you made. That is one of your stitches. So we have ten stitches on the knee. Okay, so once you have those stitches cast on, you're going to place those stitches in your right hand. And if you were right-handed, you would knit from left to right. But since you're left-handed, you're going to knit from right to left. So what we'll do is we take the, the left hand needle, insert it into the stitch, pick up the yarn and wrap it clockwise around that back needle. Then what you're going to do is you're going to pull that needle through the loop while picking up that new stitch you put on. Then you slide the old stitch off the right needle into the loop wrap the yarn around, slide that needle off, and then take it off the stitch. Into the loop, wrap around, draw up the stitch, take the right hand stitch off the needle. So you're adding a stitch and you're moving it from one needle to the other, and you're just repeating that over and over again across the row. Now this cast on we did 
was a loop cast on. It's the easiest cast on to learn and it's better to just learn this cast on to start and then there's more advanced cast ons that you can do as you learn to knit. Um, the problem is it's not a great cast on. It creates this little string sometimes between the stitches. That's because there's nothing holding these. They're just loops. Um, so it's kind of annoying. Um, but if we were to show you a more advanced cast on, you'd forget it right away. And the most important thing is learning the knit stitch and the purl stitch. Once you get those down and you're comfortable with them, and you go to learn uh, a more advanced cast on, such as the long tail cast on, you'll get it right away. So now we've knitted our first row of knit stitches. There's 10 stitches. And how do you know where you are in the knitting? Your loop, your tail from your yarn ball should always be in the back. And if this tail is really long, you might want to trim it to about four to six inches so that you don't accidentally pick this up and knit it. I've done that way too many times. So just uh, always keep the tail about four to six inches. In fact, I'll snip it off right now. You don't want to cut it too short because you need to be able to weave in that yarn end. Uh, if you were to cut it right up here and think that was it, your project would unravel. So you don't want to do that. So let's knit one more row. I'm going to take that knitting back to my right hand. Make sure that this yarn is going to be in the back. And now I'm going to insert the left needle underneath and go into the stitch, wrap the yarn around, pull up a loop and take that stitch off the needle. And I'm just going to repeat that across the row. Give yourself a little time to master holding the stitches and the needles. It's a very uncomfortable position when you start. So just give yourself time to realize that it's like holding a pen or pencil for the first time. There's a, a, an art to it and it takes a little finagling to master both. So don't beat yourself up if you don't get it the first second. So now we've just knitted two rows of knit stitch. And you can see that there are, when you create a knit stitch, it makes these little V's. So this row of ridges is the back side of the previous row, which create these, they're called pearl bumps. So the front side of a stitch is called knit and the back is called a pearl. So to pearl, we're going to start the same way, but the yarn's going to be in the front not in the back. So we're going to go into the stitch and wrap the yarn around the needle clockwise like that and then go back out of the stitch and slide it off. Again into the stitch, wrap the yarn clockwise around, out of the stitch and slide it off. So if we were to look at this from up here, we're doing the exact same thing, just kind of from the top instead of the bottom. You're going into the front of the stitch, not the back. So if we were to knit that, we'd go in from here and the yarn would be in, this yarn would be in the back. But in this case, the yarn's in the front and we're gonna come into the front of the stitch and wrap it around. Okay, we've finished one row of purling and now you can see that since we did the purl row on the back, uh, on this row that we just finished, 
we're getting another row of knit stitches on this side of the work. So you can see it's creating this little V here. Now I'm going to show you how to take the stitches off the needle. That's called binding off or casting off. And it's not much different than knitting. There's just one more step involved. So we're going to go into the stitch, wrap the yarn around the needle, knit one stitch. Then we're going to knit the next stitch. Now, to get these stitches off the needle, you're going to take that first stitch you knit and put it up over the second stitch, like that. So you're going to keep repeating that across the row. Try not to get too tight because if you're too tight, your bind off or cast off will be too tight and it will not look the same as the rest of your project. So knit the next stitch. Oh, I forgot to bind that one off. So here we go, lift it over. Knit the next stitch. Take that first one off. Knit the next stitch. Take that first one off. Now, if you can see, my hands are a little cumbersome in this, and that's because I knit not holding my needles this way. I normally knit continental style, which um, for me is much more fluid and comfortable than this um, throw method or American style. So now we have bound off all of those stitches except for this one stitch that's left. So what you're going to do is clip the yarn and then you're going to simply take that tail, put it into the loop and draw up the loop like that. And now you've cast on, you've knitted, you've purled and you've bound off. Next I'm going to show you how to knit continental style. Okay, I've cast on my 10 stitches. They're not too tight. They slide pretty well across the row. And I'm going to start knitting, but what's going to change is how I hold my yarn. So I like to hold it in my right hand and let my right hand act as the feeder for the stitches. That way my, this just feeds the yarn and holds this needle and my left hand gets to do all the work and that's where it feels really comfortable. So I'm going to go into the stitch, wrap the yarn around the needle, and then draw up the loop. And what I end up doing is this stitch basically, I mean this needle basically goes in, hooks the yarn, pulls it up, slide it off. So I'm not doing all that physical wrapping around, even though I'm wrapping around, it's more of a slip of the stitch. Uh, I'm just picking that up. And if you've crocheted before, it's very similar to holding crochet hooks and yarn. It's, it's more like you're grabbing, grabbing it and pulling it up and then sliding it onto the new, next needle. So it's the exact same step Knitting is the exact same technique. You're just holding your yarn differently and your needles differently to allow you to master that. And as you can see, before my right hand was doing a lot of the work and now my, my right hand barely moves only to feed the yarn and slide these stitches up. But my left hand is really getting in there and grabbing the yarn and making those stitches and I can knit so much faster, more comfortably, more fluidly. My stitches look so much better than what I did over here. You can see my knitting just has a much better appearance all around by using this technique. And I knit faster and so much more comfortably and confidently. So I'll do one more row of knitting and then I'll do a row of 
pearling, so you can see what continental pearling looks like. Again, I'm just grasping the yarn, and I tend to pull this down so that when I go in, I can just hook that up like that and slide it off. And it takes a little while to get this technique, but I think you'll find it so rewarding. And it's exactly the same as a right-handed person would do. It's just a mirror image. They're doing it from left to right. Same continental, they just hold everything in the opposite hand and knit the opposite direction, but it's all exactly the same. So now let's do a purl stitch in continental. Same method of holding your needles and your yarn, but we're gonna knit in the front of the work. So I have my yarn in front and I insert my needle into the front of the work. And then you wrap around and hook down. So it's the same thing, just you're pulling the other direction. So you can see I'm wrapping the yarn, I'm making, instead of wrapping the yarn around the needle, I'm kind of wrapping my needle around the yarn. Do you know what I mean? It's just the, the same way to go about it. It's just that instead of the yarn doing the work, the needle is doing the work. So hooking it around and going back down. And what I also like about this is that when you knit and purl in one row, it's so smooth. I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to do a knit with the yarn in the back, then a purl. I just kind of fluidly move it forward and do my purl. Oops. Now back to knit. So I'm not like making this big dramatic gesture. It's such a simple little twist of the wrist that allows you to knit and purl almost seamlessly and effortlessly. So I'm gonna to try to slow it down. Let the needle grab the stitch. The needle does all the work. It'll make your left hand very happy to be able to do that. And now you can see I have a beautiful uh, knit and purl, knit one purl, one row there. And that's how you knit continental style left-handed. So we've covered a lot today. We learned how to cast on, bind off, knit, purl, knit and purl continental style and transition between a knit and purl in one row on a all on left-handed knitting. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If there's something else you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.